Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about Aristotle's theory of mimesis. So first of all, what is mimesis? It's a Greek word and it means imitation. What does it mean? Imitation. So let's talk about the main points which Aristotle proposed in his theory of imitation. Basically, if you talk about Aristotle, so he is a notable Greek critic of literature and he was a philosopher and scientist also. He is a student of the great ancient Greek philosopher Plato. Now why I'm talking about Plato when we are talking about Aristotle's theory? Because this theory of imitation this imitation word or copy word was first introduced by Plato in sense of literature. Okay, so Plato used this concept for the very first time in reference to poetry. And he mentioned this copy word in his favorite, I mean, famous critique, treatise named as Republic. Okay, now what happened? is that according to Pluto, basically imitation or copy means copy of life. We are exactly having the copy of life. Whereas from Aristotle's perspective, imitation is something, imitation or mimesis is something, then there is a recreation of the ideal copy recreation of the ideal copy of this whole world okay so that means when we talk about imitation from aristotle's point of view then this is the recreation of artistic world okay recreation of reality for example if we have poets we have painters these are few artists right According to Aristotle, these are not just copiers who are copying some of the things, but the creators. They are the creators of the new world. They have their imagination and they bring out reality. They bring out reality out of this and which is very, very different from the existing world. Okay. So basically what Aristotle did, he, he said that this imitation is act of the imaginative creation. Okay. If we talk about poetry, poetry is what? One of the fine arts, right? So according to him, this fine art imitates life. If you talk about poet, what they write in their poetry, what they talk about in their poetry about nature, about someone else's life, about the quality of a person. Everything is imitation, right? What they have seen or what they have got in their image, imagination. So that means they are imitating life. Poetry is imitating life. But by recreation, it actually recreates life. It shows us different aspects of life, correct? It reproduces the reality with the help of imagination. And with the help of this imitation, we have poetry, which is creative and which is innovative. Okay. So that means if we talk about poetic imitation, so this poetic imitation helps the poet to make something new, something creative out of the existing reality. So what Aristotle says in uh, his theory, the basic points are all arts, all arts imitate life. Okay. All art imitate life, but with some differences, because we see that if there is imitation, then everything is not same, right? There are some changes. So, from where those changes have come? Because whatever we are having in terms of imitation, 
there are differences there are three main differences in those imitation which distinguish them from each other what are these first of all medium of imitation from where that imitation is happening then we have object of imitation which object is being imitated right and then the manner of imitation so if we talk about these things basically mimesis is a valuable method for artistic representation this is mentioned in poetics of aristotle it is mentioned in poetics of aristotle written by aristotle now what does it mean when we talk about these three imitation modes see we have poetry we have painting these are art forms right now we are talking about that imitation is there that means in poetry with the help of poem in painting with the help of different art forms different paintings we can see that there is the imitation of life there can be a painting which is showing rural life which is of course we are imitating life right but the mediums their mediums the media through which they are imitating it is different correct because if we talk about the medium of poetry these are with the help of words rhythm harmony on the other hand if we have painting then the medium of painting are color forms of painting correct so in this way we have firstly different medium then if we talk about object of imitation then what are these you can see maybe a painting can show a rural life right but in that rural life maybe we can see everything all perfect all positive without covid right and uh, without pollution so if we are seeing that this artist has made this painting showing a different rural form and uh, you know birds and mountains and this is just the Im imitation of the present life then why there is so change so much change in reality and what we are having in the creation because this is what we have in the form of object of imitation there are men in action in poetry in painting these men this these people may be either better or worse than the real life men but what we are having is idealism that everything is idol which represent the world correct so this sort of imitation we are having that means mimesis which means copying or imitation it's not just copying but imitation but we are having having some innovation some creativity also with it okay artistic creation and if we talk about the manner so this is firstly media object of imitation and then manner of imitation what we have got in manner of imitation is that it also differs from one art to another maybe some of the poets can use narrative form of poem they are just describing things whereas some of the poet can have dramatic point of view sarcastic so manner of imitation we know we have seen in poet poems that uh, what type of poem shakespeare was having is quite different from what john keats have so in this sense manner of imitation is also different it is just same as let's say i have told you something okay we play messenger games right i have told you something you have to pass on this message to some other person but 
there can be difference in what I have said, in the intonation, in the form which I have said, and what you are explaining. So manner of imitation brings creativity, brings imaginative creation. Correct? So that means this Aristotle's poetic imitation or mimesis is just not the pictorial representation. It is an act of creative imagination okay which is quite similar we can say it has possible reality of life okay so these points we are having that means we have studied about poetry in terms of media object manner correct and then what we have got is modes of mimesis see we can have different modes of mimesis if we talk about modes of mimesis that how we are imitating so they can be if you have heard of poetry tragedy comedy in Greek literature, you will find diatharambic poetry also. So this is basically a poetry written uh, to praise God of wine and fertility in their culture. Okay. Then we have some instruments played by some people. Right. So through these, these things, we can bring creation. Okay. So mimesis in different art forms is achieved differently and this is something which is bring which is bringing some change in the object in the manner of creativity of imitation okay we have already said it about the medium of mimesis so this is something which we have understood from aristotle's theory of mimesis i hope you have understood this topic very well and if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.